Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and we're about to have dinner in the Volvo. Tonight, people, we are having steak. I done got cooking a steak in the truck down, people. We're gonna do it in the air fryer. This is probably the fifth ribeye that I've cooked over the last couple of months in the air fryer, and I can go ahead and tell you right now, it's gonna be delicious. And But I'm doing a 34 hour reset in San Antonio, Texas. So, uh, I figure we'll have something green to go along with it. Brussels sprouts. Had these in my freezer, but what we're having tonight are these Brussels sprouts. This delicious looking ribeye. It's two. Here's what I'm using. I've got my ribeye. Now you can get by without a meat thermometer, but guys, it is a game changer. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Now, as far as oil goes, today we're gonna try avocado oil. However, coconut oil would be fine, and the only seasoning we'll be using is pink Himalayan sea salt and some good pepper, and we're gonna grind them both. What we'll be cooking in is just a, an air fryer, and then I'm gonna cook the Brussels sprouts in a skillet. Now, the Volvo does come equipped over here with, I don't know, a little TV tray thing. That would not work for what we're doing. Also, it comes with a drawer. That ain't gonna work for what we're doing. What I've done is brought a TV tray from home, and we're gonna need a couple of paper towels. The paper towels are for this steak. It has moisture on it. We wanna pat it dry before we season it, and it's gonna cook a lot better in the air fryer by doing that. That's a pro tip there, people. Okay, we've got us a, a good steak. Lots of marble in that. Beautiful color. This is gonna be good. So, we're gonna season it. I always start off with salt and I'm not stingy with it. Salt on both sides. Make sure I rub that in that uh, marble. Here's the key on your ribeye, that nice strip of delicious marble. We want to salt that too. So with my excess that's on my cutting board here, I'm going to rub that in. Do the exact same thing with the pepper. Don't be stingy with it. You're going to love it. Flip it over. nice little dusting of pepper and salt Put that in and we want some pepper on our our marble as well so we're gonna rub that in and the last thing we're gonna put a little avocado oil on that pat that in flip it do the exact same thing and then we're gonna put this into our air fryer, which has been preheating at 400 degrees. This avocado oil that I'm using, I think I paid maybe six or seven dollars for it at Aldi. Very good buy. Put some oil on that marble, and there we go. This particular ribeye came from Food Lion, which I generally don't shop at Food Lion, but we're gonna Give it a try in the air fry. 400 degrees. Now this has got 13 on the timer. In this case, guys, time isn't what you want to keep track of. Temperature is what you want to be right on. Which we'll be using our waterproof thermometer that we got on Amazon. I was wanting to cook my Brussels sprouts alongside my steak, but it's not working out. I had them connected to the same power inverter and my inverter started, you know, chirping. So what we're gonna do is when our steak gets to 145 degrees at the, you know, the thickest centermost part, that's gonna mean it is medium and we are good to go. And we're gonna turn it off and let it finish cooking and then we'll do our Brussels sprouts. All 
right, it's time to flip it. And you know how many times you flip a steak, right? Just once. All right. Put it back in there. And we will we'll check it at five minutes and see how it is. May need a little more time. That doesn't look done yet. So let's, uh, but we're going to check it with the thermometer. Not even close. So we're going to put it back in. Start the air fryer again. This is going to be the first thing I've eaten all day. And it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon, so I have reached the point of hunger. But uh, let's take a look at this steak. All right. Rubbed about all right. It's got to be done now. All right, that looks pretty freaking done. Putting our thickest part. Actually, it's perfect in the mid 40s. That's going to be medium ish. If I was at home, I'd put it in the counter. We're just going to keep it in here and have it open so it's not on. All right, now we're gonna preheat our little skillet. This is uh, just a cheap skillet that I got from Walmart for around 15 bucks. We're just gonna put some avocado oil in the pan. Swish that all around. Once this gets hot, we'll add our Brussels sprouts. These particular Brussels sprouts that I got from Aldi's, I believe, is with balsamic and glazed bacon. You can cook it in the oven or a skillet. Since we ain't got an oven, we could, probably could do the microwave, but they wouldn't be very good. And this, people, they're gonna be good. All right, this looks like it's hot, so we're gonna add our Brussels sprouts. And balsamic glaze and bacon. all this together we'll give it a minute like that and mix them up some more. I've got it set on about medium heat that's right so we're gonna take this out it is completely cooked our Brussels sprouts are good to go all right it is time to eat look at that delicious ribeye and what I like to do is cut around the fat lines. But here we go, people. There's a dinner idea you can make in the truck, truck drivers. I got a big steak, and I'm gonna try not to eat it in one sitting and save the other half for later. All right, well, let's give these Brussels sprouts a try. Hmm, they're pretty good. They got a little of that balsamic vinegar flavor to it, not very strong, just a hint of it. But a little bacon. Mmm. Now, parts of my steak, that looks, that looks pretty well done. I left this one in here a little long. Mmm. That's still freaking good, though. But at the centermost part, I'll show you guys this. Yeah, that's like medium well. I totally overcooked this steak. You know, what actually did it and what it overcooked. I left it sitting in the air fryer to cool down versus normally I sit it on my cutting board to cool down. But I guess making this video and the Brussels, th Brussels sprouts throwing me off, I made a mistake on that. So learn from that. Don't let it cool down in the air fryer because it'll cook too much, especially if you did that at the precise moment that you need to take it out and put it on your cutting board. Actually, there is a little pink in it. That's so juicy though. Mmm. It, it's not what I would call overcooked and leather and all that. It's still extremely juicy, even though I cooked it a little more than I wanted to. But there's a hint of pink in there. But you know what's going to be great? This marble. Oh my God. 
it's literally melting in my mouth. God, that is good. And I can taste that good pink Himalayan sea salt. Mm, it's got a little pepper flavor to it. This is delicious. The fat's my favorite part. But that's cooking a steak in the air fryer, but a game changer, guys, where you can cook with precision is a meat thermometer. This one here, I found it on Amazon for 12 bucks. There'll be a link for it in the description, so uh, get it there. So, I don't know, Trucker Jim will make like a nickel off of it or something like that. Every bit, little bit helps, because I got big plans coming up over the next 90 days. But if you, if you guys like seeing edited videos where maybe I'm sharing some good healthy meal ideas that are probably going to be low carb, like this one, guess how many carbs is in my dinner? I don't know if there is any. These Brussels sprouts. Well, there's 12 grams of carbs in the Brussels sprouts. Well, in a serving of Brussels sprouts. So that ain't bad. And the steak doesn't have any. It's protein, fat. Hey, but all of you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you making it to the end. Would love to hear from you in the comments. If you like this video, do like Garfield, you know, that cat Jim Davis drew, and give us a big thumbs up, and maybe even share the video. But we'll see you next time. Be safe out there, and keep on trucking.